before you start this video, our pizza is a glitch. It was cool while it lasted. The possibilities, man, of a kid boo and a game squad was going to be crazy if they kept the glitch. It was going to be crazy. Didn't even get a chance to do this in a world match. Damn! Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy Six Shot, and this is Six Shot Gaming Channel. And today I got another what to do on Black Vid for y'all. This time it's all about Captain Ginyu. So, quick story. I just picked this character up just like last week before the patch came out. Because of the glitch. I'm like, oh my god, this is cheap. I'm going to use it. This was, This is making him good. And then he patched the glitched out, and now Captain Ginyu's dead. It's like RP. It's over for Captain Ginyu. No one's gonna pick him no more. So real quick, moment of silence for Captain Ginyu. And moment of silence is over. Anyways, let's get started with the video. So on block with Captain Ginyu, Captain Ginyu is really a stagger pressure heavy character, cause it's a lot of things with his his regular normal attacks that has a lot of staggers in between it that you can bait out your opponent to press buttons and so on and so forth. So the first thing we're gonna talk about is his double light attack. So Captain Ginyu's double light attack is unique, cause like most of the casts, when you press double light, they do two hits. Captain Ginyu actually does three hits. So I believe TN and Yamcha is like this as well. Also, another thing that's unique with Captain Ginyu is that you could slightly delay the, the light attack. Another thing that's kind of crazy about his double light attack when you press light light is that in between both lights, there's a gap in between the lights. So if your opponent is pressing buttons early on in the string, he will get hit out between the first and second hit of the light attacks. But since there is a gap, you can easily reflect the second hit of the double light. And even though there's a gap in between the two light attacks, the gap is not large enough to use advantage attack at all. This is me just mashing on advantage, trying to get through it, and it's not working. But obviously, the gap is big enough that you can do your level 3 super, because all level 3 supers are invincible in startup. So just remember that. So since there is a gap in between his two light attacks, if you want to keep a true block string, the way to go is from light to medium. Just do light to medium, and that's a true block string that your, your opponent cannot mash or reflect at all. So next thing we're going to talk about is the stagger pressure on the down medium into the medium attack, standard medium attack. This is very good for Captain Ginyu because of the um, range of his limbs, and it's pretty, it's pretty good stagger pressure tool to stop your opponent from pressing buttons. But you gotta be careful how long you delay the standing on um, the down medium to standing medium because you could easily be hit out just like so. But through practice, once you get the time it down pack, if your opponent is pressing or mashing buttons, they will be hit out. Even though there's a slight gap in between, it's the window is not large enough for even advanced attack to come out. The only thing that will work is a reflect just like you see or a level three super. And if the standing medium attack hits, you can easily chain into your standing heavy attack to keep on going with the combo. And then speaking of standing heavy attack, next thing we're going to talk about is the properties of the standing heavy attack and how to use this in your block string. Because his standing heavy attack is pretty different than the rest of the cast standing heavy attack. Getting you standing heavy is a little bit different than the rest of the cast because there's a gap in between the standing heavy and the rest of the block string. So if your opponent's pressing buttons between this gap, they will be hit. It's also, the gap is not large enough to get advantage. So the only thing that's going to work is invincibility on startup type of moves. Or it can be beat out by reflect. So if your opponent knows that you can reflect the standing heavy attack and you know that they're going to try to reflect, you could do this to punish them out. So the next move we're going to talk about to incorporate in your block strings, and this is going to special move territory, but it's getting you shoulder rush attack. This move is 100% safe on block or versions, but right now we're talking about the light version. The move is 100% safe on block, and it causes tons of pushback. 
with the pushback it causes most light attacks is not gonna reach the your own um, it's not gonna reach you at all so with you knowing that and you know your opponent's gonna try to attack you right after you can easily backdash out the way and punish your opponent from trying to punish you but you gotta watch out though because some light attacks can with good reach can beat this out so the next move we're gonna talk about is the medium version of the shoulder rush this move like I causes around the same amount of pushback the main difference though is where the light attack will keep you in a true block string the medium version has a gap in between so if your opponent is pressing buttons they will be hit out if your medium version happens to hit you can easily use the advantage to continue the combo just like so or if your opponent keeps on blocking, you can use this as a pressure tool and keep on continuing with your pressure after the vanish. So now we're about to get into the main parts of Ginyu's gameplay, and that's the Ginyu Force. Ginyu's pretty special or unique, not special, but he's more unique than the rest of the cast because only him and Gotenks that I know of could cancel special moves into other special moves just like so. Ginyu's have two versions of his Ginyu Force Call. The regular version, he doesn't have a, a normal Key Blast attack. So when you press the Key Blast attack, this is what's going to happen. And the other version of the Ginyu Force Call is special move is a special move version, and you do this by doing the Core Circle Forward and the Key Blast button. So after a shoulder rush, you could cancel into either or the Key Blast version of the key, Ginyu Force or the special move version of the Ginyu Force, just like you see. And you also got to remember that the Ginyu Force comes out one at like in order. First will be Goldo, then it's going to be Raccoon, then Birda, then Jace. So you always got to remember that when using your attack. Even when you alternate between the special move version and the, um, the Key Blast version, the order is always going to be like that. But another big problem about the um the Ginyu calls is that it's unsafe. Like, the opponent can easily hit you out of the Ginyu calls just like so. The only one that's pretty good that will trade is the Jace version of the regular Key Blast version. So one great way to avoid, and probably the best way to avoid being punished while calling the Ginyu Force member out is to advance directly after the Ginyu Force call. If you know your opponent's going to try to punish you on that window uh, when you call the Ginyu Force, you can easily advance out the way and avoid your opponent. In worst case scenario, your opponents may hit you out, but depending on the Ginyu Force call, they's gonna, they're going to hit your opponent and knock them out of try, them trying to punish you. And depending, just like Birda, depending on the Ginyu Force call, you can easily get a hit and continue the combo. This is a great strategy when you use the quarter circle four version of Goldo, because you can kick him right into the time stop and continue the combo from there. Also, you don't always have to use the Ginyu Force Core at the end of a shoulder rush. You can use it at any time, but you gotta be careful because the shoulder rush is the only thing that really gets the pushback, so your opponent could easily punish you just like so. But you can keep on mixing up when or however you call the Ginyu Force. You can do one hit Ginyu Force Core, two hit Ginyu Force Core, so on and so forth. You can mix it up and keep them going just like so. And if you really want to get nutty with it, you could just have your opponent guessing and be scared to press buttons all day by doing stuff like this. I don't really recommend this, but there's no gen cooldowns on the Ginyu Forces. So you, you can keep on using it over, over, and over again. So you can just keep mixing up your strings, your block pressure strings, and call the Ginyu Force just like so. So just like I said, there's no cooldowns on the Ginyu Force calls. You can keep on doing over and over and over. So please, when you're playing Ginyu, you have to take advantage of this. And here's just a little couple setups you could do when using the Quarter Circle 4 versions of the Ginyu Force, but Goldo, you could use, you could call Goldo, vanish and kick him back into the time stop. With Raccoon, he ch he shoots a beam at you, so you could follow after the opponent after the beam. Berta controls the air, so it stops your opponent from jumping and keeps him down on the ground. And Jason Berta combined, shoots energy, key blast at your opponent, and it locks your opponent down. 
And here's just little block strings into the setups you could do. And this even works on hit. You could do the same exact thing with the shoulder rush. So on and so forth. But yeah, folks, that's the end road of this video. That what to do on block feature cat to get you. Y'all know the drill. If you found this video useful and it's very helpful to you, please smash the like button. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. Captain Gin was a fun character. I had enjoy playing him, but I feel like what made him really, really good was that glitch. And he took the glitch out. So Captain Gin was dead. There's no more Captain Gin no more. But anyways, besides that, peace. Till the lights go out, my leg, give out, can't shut my